Bowls in 1929. Bryant Denny Stadium's expansion makes it one of the largest in the Southeastern Conference. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. It's complete. He's tackled at the 35. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Steps out at around the 44-yard line. It's second and one. Ball on the 44-yard line. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's the eighth play of the series. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. The quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. Tenth play of the drive. And a quick throw. And down he goes, right around the four-yard line. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. Ball on the four. A short yardage defense here. Players in there. Got it. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11 play, 74 yard drive, and the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boyd's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at it. him down in the backfield. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Caught, open field. Tackle made at the 47. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Run play, and he'll lose yards. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle around the 43-yard line. The screen is good for four. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. First down. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down around the 15 yard line. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. He's taken down around the 17-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. Alabama holds a four-point lead. He's tackled right around the 34. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air.
Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. Alabama's up by four. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Mike 42, Mike 42. Let go. This is four. Let go. And he's hit immediately. Norwood comes away with around seven yards on that catch, and that'll also give him a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. From the 22-yard line, first down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Alabama is up four. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. seven-yard line and this play is number eight on the drive looks for his tight end over the middle touchdown crimson time the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Lost the ball. Fumble. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 36. That makes it second and ten. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Let's go, D. Hey! Bruce! Bruce! Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Jones, the return man. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires yeah, 
Here's it out. He's pushed out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll work the right side. Gets to around the 42. to the 45-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. You can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. A little toss across the middle. White picks up seven yards with that catch. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Strike to the receiver. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. He chucks it downfield. Can't pull it in. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Going deep, lays it out there. Got it. Touchdown, Alabama. And he hits the PAT. Foster has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Caught out in the open. And they make the stop at the 38. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Steps out of bounds at about the 45. That'll bring up second and three. It's second and three. Ball on their own 45. Tackle made at about the 49. It's complete for about four yards and a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at about the 11. Blue 
Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A seven play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Tackle made at the 19. Alabama's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something in that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. Swings it out there incomplete. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. With the pass incomplete. That pass led him just a little bit too far. But still, great effort. Gutsy play to try to run for the first. They're just short. Well, they had a long way to go and figured the defense would be playing pass. So why not try to pull one over on them? Tries to get around the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at the 31. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Aaron and Atlong. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. That's incomplete. We've played a half. Alabama leads it 21-10. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves this second half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at about the 35. McDowell gets the call again. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Down. Hey, check 
He gets to about the 41 yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Good tackle there in space. That makes it first and 10. And he throws it away. From the 30-yard line, second down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Under heavy pressure. Looking for his man, incomplete. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question he should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Defense coming, and the ball comes out. Recovered by the offense. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. The Tigers running game really took a big hit. Their key back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. So it's second down now. And they need about four yards to pick up the first. Looks left, picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. And he tacks on the extra point. Clemson gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Nice run there. Second and five, ball on the 30. Alabama is up four. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. They give to the tailback. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42. Nice run, and he's brought down.
They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 24. That brings up second and one. It's the ninth play of the drive. Alabama holds a four-point lead. Makes it to the 11. So the run goes for another first down. And Kirk, they're really having some trouble stopping this kid on this drive. The offense is just winning the battle up front. Right now, the defense knows the run is coming. They just can't stop it. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 11-yard line. It's second and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Tailback brought down for a loss. And this is the 12th play of the drive. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding the field goal right there. Foster looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 24-17, Crimson Tide. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's taken down at the 22. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. First down. Catches it, and that's all. Moses makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's going to try and scramble. Fires a bullet out to the right. Complete. To the 10. It's away from him. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 35. Mike's 42. Mike's 42. 
And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. They'll go Brown. He's at midfield. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From the 48-yard line, first down. Here's a run. Nice gain as he works the right side. That brings him second and five. third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks just under three to go in regulation nice run to the outside great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field they're getting very tired Second down. He gets rid of this one. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. It has the distance, and it's off the upright. No good. might have overtime in the back of our minds but down on the field that hasn't occurred to anyone they want to end this thing in regulation nice run up the middle just under two minutes in the game tackle around the 42 yard line in the midst of all this mayhem. He's going to air it long. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and goal. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Fights forward to about the seven. Touchdown, Clemson. Makes the PAT. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down to the 26 yard line. 
Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they'll get him in the backfield. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Five wide. Just throws this one away. Incomplete pass. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 31-24, Clemson. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.